Hi Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. This is for you Capricorn. Uh, this will resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Capricorn. Okay, please understand this is a general reading. Anything being said here may be vice versa. Okay, this may be something that has already happened, that is happening or will happen. Thank you for being here with me, Capricorn. So let's get into this reading. Let's see who is coming to you in love. Who and what? It's coming to Capricorn in love. What do we have, please? So Capricorn, you have a karmic release. Karmic release. No. So there's definitely a karmic, okay, in your life. Or, you know, a situation that was meant to be karmic, um, that was meant to teach you a lesson. If you're in a third party, your person could be with a karmic, okay? Let's come into Capricorn and love. Mm -hmm. It says, come to me. We also have relationship abuse. Well, why would someone want to come to relationship abuse? You know what I'm saying? All right. Capricorn. Let's come to Capricorn in love. Mm. All right. So, Cap, you have the... Not a wand, six of swords. Okay, so you're you're you've about had it up to here with somebody. The cap is frustrated with this freak. So yeah, excuse my French, guys, but you were definitely dealing with a freak or someone was a freak in this situation. Okay, I don't know who was toxic. Maybe you both were toxic together. Could have been dealing with another Capricorn, but it feels like spirit. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It feels like spirit is definitely trying to send you far away from this person. Spirit wants you to hop on the nearest boat, train, car, airplane, spaceship, and get away from them. I feel like, Capricorn, you've been trying to make something work with somebody who's not, who's very toxic, or there's a to some kind of toxicity to the relationship. Cancer. And I feel like Spirit is like, look, you've tried to work on this enough. You know, you've, you've did... You've tried your best with this freak. Okay. You did your best, but this may not be a situation to where you can really fix it, especially if the damage was already done. You know, especially if there's been like a lot of trust issues or just some really, really abusive things being said or done here. Okay. It's not something you can really move on from, Capricorn. And I get that someone's like, oh, I love and care for this person, but. Queen of Cups tends to see things from like a really um like fantasy like perception and her love can cloud her judgment very often. So we're just saying don't let your love for this person cloud your judgment on who they are or what the relationship really, really is, Capricorn, because from what it looks like, Spirit is giving you a lot of signs that it's time for you to just kind of put the hammer down, stop working on it with this freak. Stop trying to fix them, their issues, and move forward, okay? Because this may not be a situation that you can really fix anymore. Getting some freak could be in jail or getting out of jail, okay? And they may try to work on it. Yeah, I feel like this freak is going to try to, like, come back into your life if you guys are not talking or something. And But I, I really do get a strong feeling that spirit wants you to get away from them, Cap. You know, you're already very, very wounded. And it does feel like someone's just not happy in this connection. Could be a lot of immaturity going on here. You know, if you're dealing with someone who's immature, a lot of things come along with them. This is the freak or situation that can't be fixed, Capricorn. Especially if there's a lot of, like, abuse Okay, there could be a lot of control issues, Aries uh, energy here. You have Cancer, Aquarius, Aries. 
so far. Capricorn again, like yourself. Control issues, monogamy issues, you know, somebody who may not even be man enough for my women out there, somebody who's really childish, okay, whatever resonates with your situation. But I feel like you're not feeling too optimistic or hopeful about this connection or this person. And you have good reason to. You do. You're not happy at Capricorn and you need to stop ignoring your intuition. Someone's ignoring their intuition. You're not truly happy here. You don't feel like this freak is really it. You probably really don't trust them. But maybe you've been giving them the benefit of the doubt quite often. Libra energy. This is not someone who can bring be stable in your life in the long run. Maybe in the short term, you know, you'll try to help, you know, make it stable, but you can't force anything. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know, it's just not it, Capricorn. I'm sorry. I have to be very blunt. Whoever this freak is about, it's not it. This is a karmic. There was a, a lesson attached to this person. It's coming to Capricorn in love. Yeah, I feel like one one minute you want to deal with this freak, the next minute you don't. Cancerian energy, Cancerian energy three times. The person you're connected to could definitely be a Cancer or have it in their moon rising or Venus. Yeah, I feel like at times you're like, oh, I want to move forward from this person. I don't feel hopeful. And next minute you find yourself convincing your own damn self as to maybe we can make this work. Maybe we can. No. You know, Capricorn, we... Yeah, I really feel like it's time for you to leave this freak in the past. Okay, you got to get to the point where you get real, you know, with yourself. And you see the situation, the person for what they are, what it is. Okay, judgment is asking you to assess everything that's happened so far. Is this relationship productive? Is it healthy? What is it doing for you? Is it growing you? Is it, you know, that's the, ten. the answer to that is no Capricorn. And you're just, I feel like you're sitting in a connection where you're not really emotionally fulfilled. Okay. So you could have children with this person, which is why you kind of try to stick it out. But even if this is like a new, uh, a newer energy or someone you're not actually in a relationship with, you know, they're too, they're too childish and toxic. And you can't fix that. They just need to fix it on their own time. All right. Getting that there's something they keep doing on social media, whatever that is. I'm getting this freak, you know, someone can have addiction, sex addiction, you know, they constantly cheat or... You know, maybe you keep finding them on porn sites or whatever is wrong with this person. What a freak. <laughs> you know, and once you get a spiritual awakening, Capricorn, you will see that uh, this person is not it. They were probably here to help you grow and learn some kind of lesson. Um, enlightenment, epiphany, life lessons, and rebirth. Single, it's better to be alone than to be dealing with some freak like this. Okay, you have snake, deception, shady. Maybe this person's always succumbing to temptation. You know, they're always in a regret and then they come and repeat and do the same crap. Okay. But for some of you, I feel like you've been at a crossroad for quite some time about, you know, what do I do about this person? What do I do about the situation? So for a spirit to be saying no, that's literally spirit yelling at you and warning you like, look, don't stick around for the red flags to get redder, okay? And even if it's not a situation to where there's been any kind of abuse or toxicity, it could just be that this person just wants something sexual with you, okay? And they're seeking to take advantage of you in that kind of way. So, it, you know, you can't fix someone who just wants sex from you. You can't fix a situation that's just based on physical gratification, okay? You can't convince this person otherwise, It feels like there's a lot of like manipulation, gaslighting, okay? A lot of trickery that's going on in the situation. You probably, some of you I'm hearing you live with this freak. 
Don't stay out of comfortability. Capricorn is what spirit is emphasizing to you. Don't stay just because you're comfortable. Um, that would be you settling. Don't settle for this person. Two of Swords. You deserve to be happy. Okay. Don't stay for the kids, for the marriage, or whatever it is. I do feel like there's a, like an element of codependency. I'm getting this freak is really like a kind of like a narcissist. They've really like made you feel codependent or convince you that, um, you know, like, why would you break up the family? You know, you know, like this person's really a gaslighter. That's what I feel about them. Okay. Sorry, guys. Capricorn. All right. So Capricorn is telling you to look for a sign, you know. This person probably leaves you a lot of clues and signs and that they are, that this is, you know, a, a mess, okay? Um, you have within the next few months and trust. I feel like just trust your intuition, trust the decision that you're going to make to get away from them, okay? And if you've already detached, trust that it's all for the best, okay? Your peace is very, very important here and you're going to find it. You will hear, heal from what this freak has done. Just give yourself some time to process everything, okay? And Capricorn, if you met a new person, it could be what they've went through. So you're going to need to give them some more time to process their last situation, okay? So thank you so much, Capricorn, for being here with me. Thank you um, for watching me. Please like this video if you found it insightful. Talk to you guys soon.